and I want to upsell and cross sell, or if you're in the qualification phase, this happens across the line. Again, Michael will be digging deeper into this. Here's a topic, another insight that Chris, at the end of the day, will dig deep into is from a management perspective. Look, strong man sales management will give you a competitive edge, and it's going to play a pivotal role in developing tomorrow's seller. I started off by saying the complex landscape is going to cause a different type of seller to emerge, and you have to assess, you have to do those things. But I believe sales management is the toughest job in any organization. They are in charge of generating revenue. So people like myself, the CEOs, can make good decisions, right? But here's the challenge. As a sales leader, my first challenge is I don't have a lot of training. I probably was a good salesperson. I was promoted into management. And here's what senior leadership said to me. David, you can really sell. I want you to take those 10 people over there. And I want them to think like you, speak like you, sell like you, and get the same productivity as you. Go get them. Okay. And that was called onboarding, right? Now, I know I'm exaggerating. That's not probably true in your company. But I can tell you, most of us didn't go through, through six months of onboarding to become a good sales manager. So that's my first challenge. My second challenge is that I am managing people with different personality types, different experiences, different skill levels. And so that makes it so much harder. Time is not my friend as a sales leader. It's not my friend because I don't have the time. And when I have time, I'm not really sure what I should be doing. Technology has changed everything. It's going to change the way we sell and it's changing the way we manage. Look at some of the subsets here of this, of this, um, this insight. One is, hey, management reinfor reinforcement creates adoption. I don't care if you've rolled out technology Anything that you've rolled out to your organization, if sales leaders are not reinforcing that, not using, let's say, that technology every single day, it will not be adopted. Or if it will, it's going to take years versus months. It's the Achilles heel of every rollout. Is our sales leaders reinforcing it? Are they reinforcing it? Is that what's happening? So that's one. The second one is AI tools. And we're talking the whole thing is going to be AI, as you know, and Jordan's going to be talking about this. They are going to offer laser guided precision when it comes to sales forecasting. So what does this mean? Well, let's break this up. If you think about deal coaching and forecasting, right? Deal management. Those are the two big challenges for sales leaders. Now, most senior leaders will say, I don't trust, I don't have enough in the funnel and I don't trust what's there, right? So, but if I'm deal coaching, what happens? I don't deal coach often enough with you because I've got 10 people, but I'm also coaching to fantasy because you as an individual producer are telling me what you think the problem is, what you think you are in the process. And I'm giving you what I think is next steps, but that's from your perspective. And we all know what one person sees isn't really what the other person sees, unless you have what Sandler calls a clear future commitment. Well, that's a different topic. But so I'm giving you advice on things that may not help you. That's the first thing. When it comes to funnel management, look, here's how we do it. If I have a $10 million quota and salesperson number one comes to me and says, I've got a million coming in this month. Okay. Now I look over and I say a million, but I know that that particular person has been off on their forecast 30% for the last six months. I don't write down a million. I write down 700,000 right? Because I'm automatically bumping them down to what their historical results have been. And I do that for all 10 people. And then I take that number and I bang it down again before I tell my senior leader, because I don't want to tell the exact number. I want some cushion myself, right? I want some cushion myself. So this is what happens. I can't call the number. So I work so hard. And by the way, my salespeople are telling me throughout the month that I'm going to hit my number. I'm not going to hit my number, but I don't find out until like the 25th of the month. AI solves everything. I have an MRI on every single deal that's in my funnel. Thank you for watching this highlight video from the Sandler Summit. You can join us for the next Sandler Summit in 2024, March 19th and 20th at the Orlando World Center Marriott. Register now at sandler.com summit.